When you were 12, you were probably out playing with your friends. While this 12-year-old gets to play now, she had to beat cancer twice to get here. Now her family has another challenge to beat. I want, I want her to have a home. You know, she's been through enough. Blaz and his family dropped everything in Coeur d'Alene to go to Seattle for his daughter's battle with leukemia. They've moved to Spokane, hoping to be closer to Sacred Heart Hospital and are without a home of their own. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nia Wong. And I'm Aaron Luna. The family is currently living at a friend's place, but it's been difficult to find a place to call home. Exclusively on 4 News Now, our Eleni Dow gives us a look at how this family has overcome so much and now has another hurdle to jump. Eleni? When the word homeless comes up, we often might think of someone out on the streets without a roof over their head or someone living in their car. But it can be hidden too, like a family living with friends. It's been a long 12 years for Serena Robles. He almost had it. Her life is easier now, but for the last six months, she's been in Seattle battling cancer. It feels really good. I'm actually happy I'm home. It, I missed my family when I was in Seattle and I missed my friends. Home is the Inland Northwest. She and her family moved to Spokane to be closer to Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. Serena's in remission now, but her cancer can come back. For the rest of my life, my wife's life, we're going to live in fear that it might come back because it's already made two failed attempts to take her life. For a whole year, she can't go to school because her immune system is so weak. Staying home might be a dream for many kids, but it isn't really for Serena because this house they're in now isn't really their home. The pictures you see on the wall, they're not, it's not even my family, it's their family. Since last week, they've been staying at a friend's home. They're struggling to find their own. The problem we're facing right now is not having proof of income and um, our credit score is not all that great. So we've been getting turned away for those reasons. There is help out there. They've reached out to them. One is Catholic Charities who helps in different ways. We just help them to access uh, resources that are available to them that maybe they didn't realize or they weren't in a situation that they knew how to access that. Ray says he's trying to get help for his family, but it isn't easy. I don't want to fail my kids. And I, I just want them to have a home. That, that, that's all I want. There are quite a few other resources out there if you're on the brink of homelessness or just need a little money to get by. Information on that can be found on our website at KXLY.com.